everybody, Fuz Muhammad Shah with you. Um, our subject today is to talk about uh, single effect mechanical vapor compression. Uh, mechanical vapor compression is an um, old technique for uh, sea water desalination, quite interesting, simplicity, uh, moderate design, and just a single effect. We are going to use or utilize uh, mechanical vapor compression for um, in order to generate steam uh, for uh, the evaporator uh, uh, itself double go to your destination folder double clicking your model your model should be appear like this be sure that you check these buttons and going from here uh, model browser and it's okay you have to check all of these anyway okay we have four main, main uh, units. We have uh, evaporator unit, mechanical compressor, and uh, two preheaters. One for uh, productivity stream, and the other for brine rejected stream. Uh, therefore, th this preheater in order to enhance uh, the performance of, uh, of such technique of modeling. Let's double click and uh, assign some inputs. Let's go here and with a bit emphasizing. Okay, very good. Now we have operating conditions. We can assign uh, seawater temperatures, suppose it's around uh, uh, 20 degrees Celsius. Blue down temperature, that's a blue down brine rejected. Um, I, I, let's go for 75. Uh, vapor temperature, normally around 60 uh, degrees Celsius, or let it be uh, 50, 58, and the productivity. Suppose I'm going to desalinate around 1,500 uh, meter cube uh, per day. These are the salinities uh, for normally around 40, 42. Let's go for 42. And Brian blew down salinity because it's a design model. I'm going for 65 uh, kilogram, uh, 65,000 ppm. Okay, it's a salinity ratio. For blend design parameter, uh, we, we are going to assign uh, the splitter ratio, feed splitter, feed versus prime, prime splitter ratio. So I go for 0.6. Okay, and some design aspects such as packing density, packing diameter, packing length. It's up to the user to shell diameter, shell diameter of the evaporator unit. I suppose it's one meter. Let's go for one meter. Uh, you can address this parameter in order to uh, uh, seeking the, post, uh, the most uh, possible way for your system enhancement. But what is the number of tubes, what is the area of the evaporator tubes and so on. Tubes diameter, you can control this. Okay, for vapor compression, we have to assign a compression ratio, uh, efficiency, suppose it's 0.85. Here's five efficiency, okay, and adiabatic index gamma uh, normally uh, 1.3, 1.4. I will keep this parameter. You can control this and ensure what is the effect on power and so on. Okay, um, we have this type, this um, preheaters are a plate heat exchangers, it's a plates, normally plates. Uh, so we have to assign some design aspects uh, for example um, for instance uh, this is distillate feed uh, heat exchanger plate okay and this one is brine feed preheater heat exchanger plate for distillate uh, fouling factor it's okay you can uh, adjust this one i suppose it's uh, 0.5 okay um, uh, similar conductivity of the material of, the, of each plate, it's up to you as a, as a designer, but this is in kilowatt per meter uh, Celsius. Uh, plate thickness, plate width, the plate width, how many uh, meters, okay, a gap between uh, each plate, number of plates, you can control number of plates, suppose it's 100. Let's go and see. The same for uh, I'll keep uh, 0.5. I'll keep uh, the same uh, things for uh, for brine and for uh, district. Let's hit apply and and go here inside. Okay. 
as you can see here, let's emphasize it. This is evaporator unit result model block. You can double clicking here and you can control and let's go here and comments here and save. And you can change your uh, input and outputs controlling your uh, your equations. It, it's fully editable for you. Uh, you can do what you would like. This, as you can see, is here a compressor. Let's save. Okay, and the same for a plate heat exchanger. I have to comment this. Okay, and this one. Okay, comment. Okay, okay, let's hit run and see our results. As you can see here, um, it's taking depends uh, upon your computer. I hope that you can okay and fully understand yes let's go and emphasize here control plus let's let's collect some uh, output data okay so our 1500 kg uh, meter meter cube per, per, per day I'm sorry I said our uh, target desolate target so it's around uh, 17 kilogram per second so uh, this is our mass flow rate it's around 50 uh, 50 kilogram per, per second we need uh, a flow rate of uh, 50 around 50 kilogram per second but i'm below down uh, i have to emphasize more okay uh, our um, brine blue down is it's in in the range of uh, 31 uh, and this is uh, pressure uh, this is pressure comp compression pressure it's around uh, 18 kilopascal uh, this is a uh, super heat vapor temperature 88 and we have this temperature it's around uh, 64 okay and um, this is from the compressor okay and this is outlet district uh, to uh, going to um, the preheater unit around 24 uh, and feed elite feed temperature this is preheated feed this is total preheated feed from uh, pulse of heat exchangers okay and this is uh, Feed from this evaporator, feed from brine evaporator, okay. And as you can see here, uh, brine temperature, brine blow down. I have to disintegrate. Evaporator area, length of the tubes. So you can uh, uh, examine the effect of changing your parameters on such types. So we're going to use or consume nearly one megawatts for uh, for such technique in order to desalinate 1500 via uh, this technique of uh, of, uh, of modeling of desalination anyway let's go for dynamic dynamic modeling i'm here for dynamic modeling let's go here hit save i will change some operating conditions and see what is going on with that Let's go here, double clicking, returning back here, and put your panel here. Let's uh, control minus, okay. Okay, first of all, I will hit run and trying to change, emphasizing. Let's go here and see what is going on with power, with lubricant um, conditions. Let's hit run, I'm sorry. okay i'm trying to change uh, let's increase sea water temperature up to 22 increasing blue down temperature up to 40 for example 40 uh, vapor temperature up to uh, 60 62 60 as you can see here changing in, uh, in temperature 66 okay let's go for uh, this important activity i'm trying to decreasing the, uh, the fouling factor down to uh, 
Boyd one. Let's go for Boyd one and see. Uh, okay, no more than Boyd one. Okay, blow down this thing. Yes, it's annoying. Okay, let's go for up, up to uh, yes, 0 0.5, 0 0.8. Let's go for 0.8 firing factor. Yes, okay. Let's return back here for this one. Increasing. Increasing. Okay. It's effective on on um, on uh, prehistoric area as you can see here. Let's go for 0.8 normally. 0.8 for post techniques. Let's go for 0.8 and see. How much we can reduce or increase uh, our outputs? Okay, that's decreasing again. Okay, that's decreasing. Let's um. And this is compressor uh, efficiency that's decreasing down to 0 0.8 okay 0 0.5 0 0.75 0 0.75 okay and let's go for uh, splitter let's go and decreasing splitter ratio down to um, I'm thinking of 0 0.5 0 0.3 0 0.4 Okay. Okay. That's increasing uh, controlling uh, productivity rate. I'm going for up to three thousand. Okay. That's it. Stop. And see our results. Okay, now as you can see here, we can. This is your mass flow rate after uh, changing uh, your operating conditions. The brine blew down. Okay, evaporator area. This area of tube lens changing evaporator number of tubes okay this is the temperature decreasing or increasing preheated co temperature okay uh, feed bomb uh, feed temperature from um, uh, district feed temperature from uh, the brine okay area of the uh, the first preheater, the second preheater area. So you can change, you can uh, address your, uh, some of your inputs in order to uh, uh, in order to knowing which which is the best um, uh, effect or in order to optimize your system related to your area or mass flow rate or temperature, whatever. Finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest. Uh, I would, don't forget to like, uh, share uh, and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.